Guys, what is up? It's me, the high-pitched pencil neck, vocaling his, vocaling his opinion on YouTube once again. Don't you love it? So guys, we're going to be talking about scams. We're going to be talking about, we'll do an update on a couple scams that have happened and uh, only confirms that we're even more right on this channel on how, we tur how they turn out. So guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, because, uh, you know, the, 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 the best benefit of being part of this channel, guys, is we see these coming from a mile away. We saw it with Pepe. We saw it with Book of Meme. We saw it with Wojak. We saw it with Pooh Bear. We saw it with Bincoin. We saw it with every token imaginable. Uh, and we've been spot on every single time. So the greatest part about being able to recognize a scam is when we look back at the chart and it only confirms what we already thought. So a couple of things we're gonna do in this video, we'll, we'll tag Mr. Ben Armstrong in there, little uh, B-I-T boy. I'm not sure what that stands for, a uh, young man. It's a very strange name for you to consider yourself a bit boy, but we have been spot on on Bincoin, okay? And now we're gonna do an update on it. So I think the original token's up 13,000%. Oh, however, <laughs> I'm not sure that anybody's able to buy that token anymore. I think the main token that everybody migrated their tokens to, uh, Ben V2, part two of the scam, uh, that was a very small people. Most people just wrote their tokens off completely because they were worth absolutely dog shit. Like I think it went down, I think 98%. I think the only scam that's quite done that, that poorly was maybe BitConnect or Terra Luna. Anywho, 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 we, we, di we digress. Anywho, so these are how these scams occur, guys. Imagine cryptocurrency theory coming on here, getting excited, not blinking, not blinking because I want you to buy into what I'm saying because that's what, that's what cult leaders do, guys. They don't blink. They don't blink. Apparently, I'm a cult leader. So <laughs> I create a token out of thin air. I, I call it a uh, cryptocurrency theory token. <laughs> it has a little bit of a ring to it. We talk about changing the world for a few weeks. I launch a token contract with some stupid person I meet online and burn a bunch of Ethereum fees to make it look like it's artificially going up. What happens? Well, people buy these tokens, guys. And what happens as they buy them? We see the price collapse. We're gonna talk, we're gonna tag a few people in this video, not because I think a lot of people are gonna watch the video because I don't really think there's much of an audience uh, once the scam runs its course. But what is funny is these very founders that uh, created these tokens, get a little alert on their YouTube, Mr. Richard Hart, Mr. Ben Armstrong, uh, Mr. Do Kwan, uh, and whoever else we decide to tag in this video, you get a little alert that pops up in your YouTube and then you get mad, which is so funny for me to watch you get mad because when you get mad, it only confirms what we already thought and it actually builds us up even more and makes our ego even bigger here on cryptocurrency theory. And it makes me even develop a weird voice like this to even perpetuate the actual use cases of why you are a scammer. You are a scammer. You got caught. You got caught. Your dick was in the apple pie. And no, it's not a pussy. You got caught. And yes, you are a pussy too. And that's just to add fuel to your ongoing fire as you watch this video. So we'll, we'll back up a little bit. It was a little bit of a bit of a rant. But um, a little bit of a rant is needed for a scammer that thinks they can keep scamming and get away with it. And they're finding out they can't because people are getting more savvy to these type scams. People are starting to smell the kitty litter rather than the roaring kitty. And they're starting to say there might be a lot of feces and defecation in this litter box that I might need to take out. I might need to make a V2, huh, Ben? <laughs> Oh, Ben Armstrong, you're so stupid and all your followers are too. And I know we have a small portion that we're starting to take away from your subscriber list, which makes me feel pretty good on a personal level. So Ben, reach out to me, bud. We'd love to have you on here on the channel because uh, we're going to pick on you in this little video because with all the scams going on, we cannot forget uh, the people in crypto that are still trying to scam. Mr. Ben Armstrong. We haven't done an update on them for a while because we've kind of felt there's not really a need to. We, we, we you know, we saw the scam play out. Uh, once we saw it play out, there was really nothing else to talk about with it. Um, I don't know what they're talking about on the channel. I watched it a few weeks ago and I think he was talking about uh, uh, something about, uh, I, I don't know, something about the lube not being big enough. I don't know what the hell they were talking about on that channel, but it was really weird. I, I had to I had to get off that channel because it was, uh, they were talking about some token uh, some new token called fairy tale. I don't, I, I don't know. It was, it was basically just a little, a little weird, a little out there. You ask me, but no, no, no offense to, to Ben Armstrong. We know he's, uh, we, we, we know he's, he's, he's not all there. Okay. We all, we all could obviously tell that. But anyways, um, 
some recent scams that have occurred that we've seen, uh, not only in crypto, is uh, the BIN token, which I, I, for the love of God, I don't understand. Uh, we've seen these tokens on uh, some other crypto YouTube channels promoting uh, these, these tokens like Miro and uh, I don't know, any of these other same things, but basically all they are are simple ERC-20 contracts made out of thin air uh, with a founder burning enough gas fees on Ethereum to get another group of idiots to come in and buy out their positions. Now, it might seem a little weird uh, that we're talking in circles and rambling about the same thing, but it's even weirder to postulate and see that the people are just reliving the same thing over and over again on this channel. And we keep doing the same thing on this channel over and over again. So you get the point, right, Vince McMahon? Do you understand? I want to know, do you understand?